Hi, um, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I just want to say, you know, there's a lot of kind of uh, interesting things going on, um, you know, as far as, you know, a pandemic <clears throat> and, you know, um, sort of riots and things like that. Um, I would say, you know, definitely limit what you're watching, you know, um, don't just spend time watching the news or, you know, kind of filling your heart with all that stuff because it may not affect you in the moment, but you might sort of get paranoid and different things like that. Um, put it this way, you know, before, uh, you know, we are told that we will live forever through Jesus um, everybody pretty much at, if you reach a hundred or years old, you know, we die and go to heaven. And so, um, you know, in Thessalonians, it says that we comfort each other by, by knowing that, you know, the Lord will come down from heaven. Uh, he'll be flying, uh, and we'll meet him in the clouds. Um, and you know, we will, uh, be with the Lord forever and he will raise back to life those who have passed away, uh, in, um, you know, in the past. And so, you know, we can always forgive each other. Um, don't harbor bitterness. You know, if someone has wronged you, try to bring them back into your life, uh, to show, of course, if they are, you know, if it's safe, use good judgment, but, um, you know, forgive people. Don't, don't be bitter towards them. You know, try to live at peace with people. Um, you know, and, and, and be righteous, be holy. Holy means being, um, you know, free from sin. It means being perfect in goodness and righteousness. And we do that by asking the Lord. We can't do that. So if I like on my own, you know, it's it's those things, those steps to be holy or be righteous. We can sort of do them, but God wants to be a part of our life. So we ask Jesus, you know, for help. We ask the Holy Spirit for help and he will give that help. And so, um, you know, it says that God is willing he wants all of us to turn from sin and sometimes it's difficult you know um, for me it was it was pretty difficult to stop one bad habit um, and it sometimes it's 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 you know pray right now if you have that uh, feeling like oh man I need to pray or maybe you're not thinking you have a bad habit still pray anyway you know um, and you know I hope this video definitely helps um, because there's a lot that we can kind of be um, sort of unsure of. You know, remember um, the disciples, you know, they felt despair. Despair means it's like it's sort of the feeling that you're going to die. That's what despair means. I'm not saying anyone will, um, but I'm just saying... Um, the, the feeling of despair, it means that you feel like your life is in danger, but God delivered them. Um, a good example is, remember when the um, disciples were on the boat with Jesus? Jesus was asleep and the disciples, a storm broke out. And so the disciples were like, hey, Jesus, they went to wake him up. And they're like, don't you care that we're about to like, you know, die? And so they felt despair in that instance. The first time I was talking about a different part of the Bible, I think it's in um, the book of Acts. But this time I'm talking about, um, I think it's in Matthew or Luke. Uh, but you should know this parable where, you know, they're on the, on, the, on the sea, on the boat. And, you know, Jesus knows we're here. You know, he is aware that we are, um, you know, here right now and what all we're dealing with. But sometimes we can sort of get um, distracted by things that we are dealing with in our life. Um, and, you know, one thing I have is my audio Bible. I play that a lot, like pretty much all the time. Um, and 
you know, you have your computer, you have your phone. And so, um, you know, Proverbs is a good, good one. Um, and just different things. So we have to just be, you know, diligent. Diligent means you do something with care. You care about what you're doing. And, you know, we have to be diligent about our heart. That means what we listen to and what we see with our eyes. And so, um, you know, I hope this video helps um, because, and we also have to do self-care. Self-care, you know, is like getting enough sleep, you know, eating, you know, a good proper meal. And then if you're not eating, you could spend time praying, you know, that's a form of fasting. Um, but of course you want to remember to eat your meals, get good rest, um, you know, get enough vegetables. You can get V8 juices, V8 drinks. I, I definitely, you know, have V8. And then the last thing is to have faith. Remember Jesus, he asked when he comes back, will he find faith on the earth? Faith means you believe that it will work out, you know? Um, you believe that, oh, it's going to be okay, you know, and maybe even getting specific, like, you know, Jesus is going to help me pay my bills. Jesus is going to, you know, I didn't have a car one time and I prayed for a car and Jesus blessed me with the car. Um, and I prayed to get married and he helped me get married. I prayed, um, to, you know, be sane, be, have right health and to be sober and he has helped and um and so faith is like i when i prayed for those things i did not have them but you know exercising faith is you know i prayed about this i believe that jesus said you know he will provide and then you know kind of like i'm not praying right now but he you know like thinking about the future and thinking that you know jesus is reliable and, you know, knowing that Jesus, he does no evil, you know, he is holy, he's righteous, he hates evil, you know, and he's willing to die to prove that he does not agree with evil. You know, he's willing to be on the cross uh, for, I think it was about six hours, um, and he's willing to do that and prove that, you know, maybe it wasn't prove is the wrong word, but either way, you know, he proved that, uh, you know, he does not agree with evil. So if you're ever thinking, oh man, is God good? You know, well, that is a temptation to think that God is something other than good, you know? So, and then also we have to make sure we have our relationships right. You know, sometimes I have to make sure I'm right with my parents. Um, I might have said something mean to my dad or my mom or, you know, been rude um, to a stranger or um, someone at work or, you know, my wife or different things like that. Um, you know, even, you know, making right with um, sort of that's why I like looking into the law of, of God in, in uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, because we're not saved by the law, but we kind of know if we've done something right or wrong because it shows kind of what God's heart is. And so, um, you know, if you've stolen something or things like that, you know, but only Jesus can save us. Only Jesus Bring, makes us right and we have to stay committed to Jesus you know even when we feel like oh man I messed up or uh, Jesus where are you type of thing like the disciples on the boat you know I felt like that before and you know um, we have to just really trust Jesus and uh, he'll work things out you know and uh, just be willing to do kind of uh, in Timothy it says you know, be willing to do kind of difficult things. You know, Jesus said the way to life, it's difficult. It's hard. It's, you know, it's, it's not just an easy thing because it's, I think it's something that is worthwhile. There's something there, you know, like marriage. Marriage is sometimes, you know, it, it's, I've, I'm only been married less than a year and it gets difficult, you know, it, it, it gets pretty difficult. So, you know, 
Jesus says he's trying to bring himself to the church. He's the head of the church. Uh, it's a, the Bible describes it as a marriage, as a, you know, things like that. And so, you know, we have to pray, you know, to be loyal. You know, we can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm loyal. We got to pray for that. You know, we have to tell Jesus that we want to be loyal, you know. And so we can't do anything without Jesus. So we, we got to ask Jesus for the things that we need, you know. And um, yeah, so, you know, have faith, believe that God will do good to you and have confidence by doing what's right. When you're doing what's right, you'll have confidence. When you have made right your wrongs and been sincere or just prayed, you know, that gives you more confidence, um, you know, so different things like that. And then just confidence in Jesus, like, you know, yeah, okay, he was on the cross, like, you know, and then all the good things that Jesus said in the Gospels, yeah, you know, why wouldn't he be able to save me or anyone else? So I hope this video helps you. Um, you know, thank you so much for watching. Um, and, you know, stay strong and God bless you. You can do this. So uh, thank you. I will see you next time. See ya.